Ladies and gentlemen, we're back. I don't know if we're playing. Are we? It's normal. Um, hey, Sounds like the day after duck season. <laughs> <laughs> it is a weird vibe in here. We're back, baby. We're back in our home. Welcome right home. home. And we got new chairs. New we chairs. did get new chairs. I'm trying to get comfortable. And I your table it. got a lift. A Isn't it nice to get your knees all the way under there? I kind of liked it lower. Oh, no. well, not no that. Oh, no. Knock those blocks out then. They're just sitting on yeah. blocks. I'll knock your block off. Don't knock, don't I think they put some screws in there. I'd be all right. Um, they don't even know what I'm talking about. It's like super quiet in here. Yeah, I know. I think that's kind of the point. Like, like they so really cool. wanted to actually make this a yeah. podcast studio instead of the no, duck call room. Mm. So we're back. It's cleaner. We've got new carpet. We've got new concrete under the carpet to an extent. We had, we were seeking I water. You. I don't believe you. I can't care. see it. Well, you know what's cool? This carpet has got this carpet is squares. It's squares. Yeah, like you can just rip up a square. So if we tear something up, you like take up a square and you put in a new square carpet. Is that a new thing? Square. I don't know. It was new when I saw it. It was. You yeah. Know what, you know what they said? Be square like or be there. Square. So. I don't know. I had never seen it before, but they come in here and put it together like a big puzzle. Huh. So. And so has got his official headset on. And. They finally figured out yeah, how to keep you from making noise. There you go. I'm no, sorry, they didn't man. figure that out, but oh, yeah. they going to catch all of them. I'm going to miss this. You may have to pull that mic closer to your face or one because I can't hear you. For 230 episodes, I had to do this move. I don't want to hurt your ear. There you go. You're back now. I can hear there you, you now. You got your ears. There you go. So, this is, it was a little loud while ago. He was a little loud. Yeah. Si? Are you struggling with that headset? No. He's just excited. Right. Yeah, I feel like a Navy SEAL. Then are you struggling with your hat? Because something, oh, something ain't um, G-hawing over there. Uh, something ain't G-hawing? <laughs> <got to. laughs> Maybe I'm struggling with my hat. <laughs> He's just excited because it's his birthday coming up. Ah, his birthday. birthday. Three quarters of a century you've been with us. That's right. And we'll celebrate him. That's a long time. Long time. Everything's running south, boys. Did you pick your party or did somebody else do that? Like no, was those, those Philip, Philip McMillan is in charge of in charge of the party. He's a party planner. He's a party planner. Major's He's gonna, a good party planner. He be all right. He does a lot of stuff very good. Yeah. <laughs> you won't fix that for him. What is it? His mic's too high. There. Try that. <laughs> <laughs> now talk. Hey. There you go. <laughs> the death stare. Huh? That better? That's better. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Yeah. You sounded like you were like. Well, typically far away from it. Well, so. yeah. well but look, we might have a few technical struggles today, but it's all for the people. Y'all been complaining for 230 episodes about our mics and we stuff. We finally did something about we it. The, we the people. We yeah. never thought we'd make it this far, So, yeah. but now yeah. apparently we're going to keep this thing rolling until Jesus himself comes back. I hope so. That'd I'm be a, looking everybody forward Everybody keep to. listening. That'd be a big day. We sure appreciate it. Uh, that could be today. Hey. Hey, you never know. I, I ain't mad time. about it if it is. I, no, it could I be ain't. the day this airs. I mean, I'd be a little bummed because Jackson like started holding his own bottle finally. <laughs> so I'd really like to get more than one day of that. But well, the I hear it's going to be the good, the good <laughs> outweighs the bad. I'm just saying where the small victories were at right now. The like small I felt like I was back in like elementary school and just unlocked the new world on Super Mario. That's how I felt. Like it brought back those feelings when I just I handed it to him and he went. I said, "Oh my I goodness gracious!" I saw Brittany took a photograph. Yeah, or, or even a video. Yeah, I went out there and got her. I said, "Watch this!" <laughs> come on! Come I said, on. "You got to come see this." Do it again. Yeah. Do it again. You got to come see this. And he drank. It, that was the first time he done. It. He drank like three ounces before he couldn't figure out how to get it high enough. So we're we're working. We're hey, yep. if you can drink him first three ounces of the bottle, that'll work. I that's a start. Like I can yeah. do, I can do a little bit of stuff in them first three ounces. He's gonna figure and out how to get some more. As much as that boy likes groceries, he will. He'll figure. If not, he'll just punch a hole in it. Or groceries something. rule. He already wants to be a motor. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All day long. I got it back at buddy. another day. He just started doing it louder. Yeah. <laughs> he just like his mama. Now John, Godwin, and Paula come over. When I was out of town, and Galvin texted me, he said, Jackson wants to be a four-wheeler. Yeah. <laughs> he just sits there. That's what he does. Side, side by side, boys. Yeah. I like it. Apparently, that's a sign of teething. I don't know. It's teething? Yep. I so, think they get ornery when that happens. He, they, he, they are both extremely unpleasant at, at night right now. Yeah. Huh. 
and they sit there and pull on their ear. So I said, okay. Yeah. Yeah, nighttime's from like they pull on six the till, to six to like bedtime, bad deal. <laughs> bad deal. They are. They're just not very happy. And I get it. Like, if, I guess if I had teeth coming in, that probably hurts. So, I mean, that's – but the smiling babies leave till the next morning. When we wake them up, they're the happiest mm. kids you've ever seen. But You wake them up? Well – Never wake a sleeping baby, man. You have to wake one of them. That ain't my Whoever baby. doesn't wake up first, you got to wake the that's other one. That's a good point. Oh, so, yeah, you got to wake them up together. Yeah. Or you'll be in and out all night. You and all day. sleep. Yeah, they sleep good though, still. But Some it is. One but it was funny. Yeah, I was glad Galvin got to experience that. He just. <laughs> that's all he does. Yeah. All day. And, it's a good time. And a trail of drool just from that. I don't. You got to entertain yourself, man. Yeah. But yeah, new level unlocked. Holding bottle for half the bottle right now. There you so. go. New level unlocked. You it's like... on like a chicken bone. Mm hmm. Yeah, I'm good, man. He's progressing. Progressing. Well, Praise be. <laughs> they have a good. You know what I realized? We like in all the crazy movement of this, we missed Easter on the podcast. Yeah, we never really talked about it. But th- we were this so... is the first one we're filming after Easter. We're right after yeah. Easter. So you ha- did the boys have a good first Easter? Well, they're just now six months old. Did you so. throw eggs at them at least or something? I didn't throw them at them, but they threw them at us. There you go. There you go. Did you eat one of them peanut butter chocolate? Yeah, yeah, I ate a couple of those. Yeah, yeah, I ate a couple I hope of. Reese's. You one in my honor. Eat an extra one in my honor. I, I ate a couple of Reese eggs. Uh, yeah, I mean it's just kind of low key with them because they can't walk and pick up eggs. Or we boiled shrimp. I thought you were gonna say eggs. Good for I, I did boil some eggs. Did make deviled eggs. I do. I thought you were gonna talk about dying the eggs. So no, just, no, 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 no. I didn't want dyed babies. Like that's what that's how that would have ended. So Ben's did go to church with like some yeah, but half a blue eyebrow. Spark. What do y'all y'all use spike it to dye them or you make your own egg? <laughs> no, we don't. I didn't know if your house smelled like garlic. Chartreuse or whatever garlic didn't egg. Smell that much. <laughs> yeah. The game fish and the orange. Um, well, you could make them smell like bait fish. I forgot about a, that. Out of a discount bin. Yeah. <laughs> nah, we uh, we just use the regular old kit. It's a good time. Hey, you know they make that stuff that like gets rid of that dye. Spike it. You could probably just rub it on his hands. Be fine. Nah, just if you're gonna dye eggs and dye your eyebrows, your eyebrows stuck that color. <laughs> Lesson learned, man. Do it clean. Ben's done got microbladed. He only seven years old. How old is he? Six. He, he's sick. He'll sick. be sick. He'll, he's. Do you and Ben's have the same birthday? April 22nd. No, t- 27th. Uh, he's seven. just 26. 27th. Now, 22nd's Willie. That's Paula's 28. Yeah, Paula's That 20. week is birthday. Phil, yeah, Brittany's Phil, the 30th. Phil is the 24th. Willie and Missy are the 22nd. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, you can go back 10 months from now or 40 weeks, whatever it was. Can you imagine how much birthday cake I could eat? Yes. <laughs> That's all we can do is imagine, though, Galvin, because you can't have it. I know. <laughs> he said, I know it. I used to say, is that a challenge? No. How many pounds have you lost, though? You're looking slim and trim. About 42. 42 I've pounds. I've been hang- hanging steady, but I ain't really been trying lately. No, them, them, a them, lot. no, he ain't been trying because what he ain't telling you is them crappies biting. Okay. <laughs> and they just getting off that sour cream. They can't help but jump in that peanut oil. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's just what happened. It's like, where yeah. they belong, sir. That's where they belong. <laughs> I love All them it. lastings I cooked. How'd you do it? Good. I done it with sour cream and flour. Where'd you catch them? I caught the the last ones I ate. I caught in Arkansas. Oh yeah, Galvin went wader fishing. I went wading. Oh, you up with Jeff? That was fun. Mm. Catch any big ones? Not yeah. Two ninety one. I caught a two ninety one. He cute. said, "Did you catch any big ones?" Nah. Well, yeah, there was that one almost three pounder. Well, that's what happens when you sit next to side. Did you catch anything? No. I mean, we caught seventy five, but yeah. no, yeah, no, 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 no. Hey. Well, I wonder if you caught a big one. He did. 291. That's a big one. That's fast. Good one. 291, 304, 268. Somebody caught a three pounder? Two of them. Where were you fishing? Arkansas. He ain't going to tell. He ain't going to say nothing. It's up yonder. 
Is up yonder. Godwin's one of them secret fishermen. Go to the north. He blurs his photos out in the background. Nah, I don't do that. No, he ain't secret. He just learned from me. You wait a month to post them. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> By then, changed. We don't lie about it. Yep. We just delay. Wait, wait, wait till they move. <laughs> yeah, you delay the post. Kind of like a weird Easter egg hunt. <laughs> Where are we going to be next? Mm-hmm. You just you keep them guessing. That's right. It's like that time Phil took Bradshaw fishing, bass fishing with him. Blindfolded? Blindfolded him. Bradshaw thought it was a joke. And told me, no, no, I, he said, no. It's for real, son. Get down in there. I ain't going to show you with, you know, all my all my sweet holes. Yeah. No. You don't want no way, way point. Tomorrow. You do that now, they call it kidnapping. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you'd get in trouble. Things have changed. Dave, if you drove down the interstate and had a man blindfolded in your back seat, you would do it. there is going to be fifteen cars with lights on it chase right. you down. There you go, boys. There it is. Mm. Well, let's take our first break. All right. We'll be back right after this. God, when when you woke up this morning, did you take a bunch of vitamins and pills and minerals and supplements and the whole gang? I drank them. You drank them? You drank them. That's what I'm talking about. And you want to know why you drank them? Because that's easier. Look, of course, you know, we're talking about AG1 by Athletic Greens. We take them literally every day. It's awesome. You don't have to take the vitamin B and vitamin C and keep up with all that. They have got all that you need packed into one little scoop of powder. Throw it in a water bottle. Shake that sucker up. Down it in the morning, and it will make you feel ready to take on your day because you will be giving your body the nutrition it craves. Look, I've been on it. My my, uh, health journey has been up and down, up and down. And look, I'll tell you this. When I'm taking AG1, I feel way better. And it's a habit that you want to be part of your life. So it was designed with ease in mind so you can live healthier and better without having to do a lot. Super easy. Why take a bunch of different things when you can just mix one scoop of powder and water every day? Hey, look, what's the bad good part about this is it's one scoop and you get 75 the minerals, all this stuff your body needs Amen to function to properly. And, and look, if you're not at home, they've made it easy. They'll give you single-serving travel packs so you never have to miss a day, even if you're out on the road. Just mix the powder first thing each morning. That's it. AG1 has been a game-changer for me, and I can't wait for you all to try it. If it's not for you, hey, there's a 90-day money-back guarantee. Look, order you some AG1 because you're going to love it. Order it right now. So take control of your health today. With an AG1, will give you a free one-year supply of vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. Go to athleticgreens.com slash duck. That's athleticgreens.com slash duck. Check it out. Gobble. What? Now, as general manager. Am I in trouble? No, you're not in trouble. I just... I have to know one thing as general manager of the company. Why did I get a bill for some dirt work down at the L&M building to fill in some holes? What, what? It just some said, it, on the memo, it said Godwin. Apparently, somebody made some ruts down there. Yeah. I remember. Was I that remember, you? Yeah. I've seen a photograph about that. Was that you? Yeah. That was him. So, ta- so walk me through your thinking process here. <laughs> he wasn't because who's got who's getting the boat you got trucks yeah, going different he ways yeah, <laughs> he's gonna pull me out but no he ain't. <laughs> <laughs> that's coming over the tv that was stuff. Yeah. why would he try to I pull you out people. backwards this is a series of unfortunate events <laughs> i just fall back there and got John stuck said this is a series <laughs> i mean what's the big deal i got stuck my favorite <laughs> My favorite part is Stone instead of helping first videos. But then did he help? No. No, I didn't no. even know he was filming. No. <laughs> he just he just video. I just come back there and look. And so what? I video. pull back there all the time, make a loop and come out. But take yeah. me through your thought process here. What what was going on? Why is what's what's the truck doing that you're back there by? What's it doing? Well, I thought he was gonna pull me out, but I should have known better than that. I mean, I wasn't stuck that bad. It's just spinning. <laughs> That's pretty low. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, it wasn't. I wasn't. You wasn't bare. You wasn't high no, centered or nothing. No, I stopped. For you it. just didn't have no grip. Right. No grips. You needed more grip in the rear end to steal a turn from your NASCAR boy. Yeah. 
Better okay. set of tires. How'd you get out? Oh, a guy down the road come up. Did he? Went you out? No, he uh, just hooked up to him and pulled me. He had street tires on his truck. It just started spinning. It wasn't doing it. It's just too light. I got you. So he pulled up to the front of me, hooked up to me, and just pulled me right out. He pulled him right out. How many times you been like that? Oh, no. Quite a few. In your life. Oh, in my life? Yeah, yeah. quite a few. Good many. <laughs> me too. That's quite yeah, many. Oh, yeah, it's absolutely it's going to happen. Four-wheel drive gives you just enough <laughs> bravery to they go where you stuff. shouldn't. You do stick them too. Oh, yeah. absolutely. Well, now that we keep it mowed back there all the time. You just assumed I it was dry. it was dry, no. No, it ain't. No, nope, it ain't. I ain't dry, boys. It ain't dry. Y'all keep it mowed now? It was, it was mm-hmm. yeah. Keep the rats out. You heard it here first. You heard it here first. If that rat, if that Please. rat got across an open field to yeah. get to you, yeah, he ain't much on that. Mm, hawk he ain't him. much. Yeah, hawk, hawk gets hawk him now. Be better. <gasps> well, the grass is short. I have a story to tell. Oh, uh, by the well, hawk. by all means, or well, lay it on us. Easter Sunday, I walk out. We got a our garage on the side, and we walk out between the garage. And yeah, you got a detached garage. Detached garage. So we yeah. walk out, go down the steps, getting in the car, uh, and all of a sudden I see the biggest bird take off from like really close. So I'm like, whoa, what was that? Al. No. Buzzard. It's like a hawk. Hawk. And I was like, oh man, I hope that sucker doesn't come at me. And then I look over, I was like, where did he come from? Right in front of my front door, all I see is a white belly. Oh, he done got him something. And it's Easter. No. Did he? And I said. Did he get the bunny? Get the bunny. Get in the car because I don't want that. Like, I was like, I did not need a dead rabbit. On Easter. On the, oh, at my goodness. front door on Easter. So I was like, just get in the car. I'll figure this out in a minute. So they all get in the car. And then I go, it was a squirrel. So I was like, oh, thank goodness. But that squirrel's arm was ripped smooth off. And then I was like, well, I'm going to leave it there. Hawk's hungry. I mean, no, no reason to throw his food away. Then the hawk never even came back. He didn't like Weird. squirrel. Anyways, but for a brief minute, I thought we had a dead mangled rabbit on I'd, our front door hmm. on Easter, which would have been just sad. That would have been tough to explain. Yeah. Yeah. But the kids never, well, the kids did see the squirrel. I went and got some of them trash grabbers and just flung it in the woods. I like Easter squirrel. I think that'd be something better. Mm-hmm. You think so? I do. They make a good pet. A squirrel? Yeah. But they're rough on furniture. April's got an R in it. No, no. Hey, but, yo, they're (laughs) rough on furniture. My mama had just bought a brand new couch, and we had a pet cat squirrel. Guess what happened? What? He got up inside the the bottom of where you sit. Ate it. Amongst the springs and tore the cotton. Got all the cushion out of it, didn't he? got all. Got all the cotton out of to make him a bed. Like, yeah. Like about two weeks later, we ate that rascal. I might. Yeah. What about Johnny D? Still puzzled yeah. why you said April's got an R in it. <laughs> yeah. Next month he he's out. That's right. He's out next month. You can't eat him. It ain't got an R in it. You ain't never heard that. Uh. Uh-uh. I'm lost. Same deal with like oysters and all that kind of stuff. People say if it ain't got an R in a month, don't eat it. Yeah, they get them wolves. I had no idea. Which is a big worm. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, yeah. Yeah, that's a why. I'm, I'm <laughs> you got me. But why would it eat? You wasn't born in the 1900s, were you? I was too. I was born in the 80s. I can't believe it. You were barely almost the nineties, about oh, half very a close. about half a month from being there. Um, but hold on, why do you think an Easter squirrel would be better than an Easter bunny? Because I think it'd be a lot cooler to go hunt nuts than eggs. But rabbits don't lay eggs. Well, then why do we go hunt eggs? Why is it not an Easter chicken? Because That's what I'm talking about. Because he's for lunch. <laughs> I did have a Easter. Boy, has got some good points right yeah. here. Okay. The I'm Easter bunny off. that lays eggs and you go I pick up in try. a basket. Yeah, I got to try chicken and eggs. Yeah. Fried chicken and fried eggs. 
They're both really good, whichever Same stage of the chicken you like. Now, I'm not against eating the rabbit. Rabbit is very good. But if you ever give me chicken a rabbit better. egg, I'm oh, not. No, no, no. Rabbit is very good. Chicken better. Mm, I don't know. Yeah. You got the people who know how to prepare rabbit. Rabbit is good. I've eaten a lot of rabbit. I've ate, I've ate a lot of rabbit. I just prefer good. chicken. We ate, we ate some wild turkey on Easter, too. Ooh, that'd be good. Ad, now, wild turkey. I taxed Jordan for a turkey breast. I said, Uh-oh. since you missed a week. That's a good. Hey, uh, he said. Well, Willie, he said Willie wants three of them. I said that's fine. You killed five. Give me all I need to breast. That's all I want. Mm. And I made wild turkey kebabs. Oh yeah, boy, they were good. Kebab. Yeah, Willie went turkey hunting. He did go turkey hunting. Wow. He killed anybody? He killed three. Oh, okay. And they pet a rhino. Yeah, and then drove a tank. Wow. He really had a good day. And shot a flamethrower. It was bizarre. I don't know where he ended up, but it was like. Disney. Texas. Well, it's like Disney World for Texas. adults. Yeah. Okay. Good and there was a rhino. Drove a tank. By the way, a lot of people emailed well, in. Well, that's a blast, by the way. Oh, I imagine. Yeah. Hold oh, no. up. I'm more interested. You know, in especially it. if you get out, you get to go out in the woods. Yeah. You don't go yeah, yeah, around really, nothing. Really see what it does. You know, because it's fun running over big trees like this. Oh, yeah. Going you don't them, move over. Going through them like it's grass. That mm-hmm. does sound no. fun. Things move for you. You don't oh, yeah. move for them. Yeah. And if they don't, you just shoot them. <laughs> yeah, 105. Of them. Yeah, 105. Uh, I got that video of Willie with a flamethrower at like dark. I was like, oh, this is not good. Oh, no. Not a good comment. I said, what are you doing? He said, cooking a steak. <laughs> <laughs> he just seared it. <laughs> it's just a new way to, a new way to He's cook doing a that steak. that fast searing. Uh, That's funny. That is wild, man. Well, let's take another break. We'll be back right after this. Martin. What? Sometimes running a business is tough, isn't it? It is very difficult. Do you ever have parking lot meetings? Uh, Not good when I meet you at the parking lot on my way out the door. No. When you're coming in and I'm coming out and I stop you, it's a bad sign. But the look on somebody's face when you say, hey, can you come to my office for a second is never a good one. And uh, Too you know, bad we don't have an HR department. If only there was a way. If only there was a way to make my life easier. Oh, there is. But wait, all there I is. To, all I had to do was contact our friends over at Bambi and they could have handled all of this for me. I wouldn't have had to have the awkward interactions this past week. But wait. With Bambi, you get access to your own dedicated HR manager starting at just $99 per month. They're available by phone, email, and real-time chat. So onboarding and specifically terminations, which is what I had to deal with, run smoothly. Team members reach peak performance and your business stays compliant with changing HR regulations. And with Bambi's HR Autopilot, you'll automate important HR practices like setting policies, trainings, and feedback. Look, cool thing is your HR manager from Bambi. U.S. based, you call them, you're talking to them, right? Makes everything easy. HR managers can easily cost 80 grand a year, which just reminds me I'm going to need a raise after last week. But Bambi starts at just $99 per month. (laughs) Schedule your free conversation today to see how much Bambi can take off your plate. Go to Bambi.com right now and type in Duck Call Room under podcast when you sign up. It'll really help our show. Spelled BAM, B E E dot com, Bambi.com, and type in Duck Call Room. Moved Joe Hunter out of the house. What in the world? They moved into their new house. What is that, sir? Did you? Yeah. That's one of them. Uh, it's over. Huh? Friday night and Saturday it goes, and Sunday. Like a hippo. And Sunday, well, I didn't go over on Sunday, Paula did. Because that was nesting time. <laughs> you got to stay out of the way of them women when they go to nesting. When they get to nesting. Yeah, and then Paula come home. And that vacuum cleaner went to going in there, and paint brushes come out. So I'll run outside. Oh, paint brushes come out. Yeah. Your boy dis up here. Went years. outside and picked up sticks and what's that big? Uh, load everything off with the blower. I can't see his tail off. good enough. I would say <laughs> no, no. I would say it's a hippo. He's looking at my computer. No, no. I would say it was a hippo, but it could be one of them manor manatobies. Manitobies. Is that what it is, called? I give up. He's got a big old flat tail like a beaver, and he's huge. He's like a he's like a, a, a rhino. Mani- a, mani- a manatee. A uh, manatee. Manatees yeah. are underwater, bro. I know. But that's why I said I, I can't see his tail good. Okay, but I would say it's a, a hippo. 
A manatee. Martin, somebody sent us in more trail cam diaries. Yeah. Uh-oh. It's from the Rio Grande Valley. Wow. What's Whoa. them things in South America that look all like a pig but a horse at the same time? That's a, a the pig, pig and a horse. That's awesome. It's weird looking. What is that? I, mean, I feel like I've seen that enough, thing before. It, it yeah. looks like a hippo. It's some kind of rat. Yeah. Oh, I ain't no rat. Not like a... Hold on, I got to bring it back down so I can at least read who sent it. Kind of like a capabola. I was just kind of really. looking through. Uh, that's what? from old LD, old Lloyd from Kingwood, Texas. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, it's an unidentified animal at the Rio Grande Valley State Park, and he believes that Cy can solve what it is. What does he think it is, does he say? He don't even say. It's just unidentified trail cam diaries. He's got a uh, banded eyes. What's them really... pig horse things? You talking about like a capybara? Yeah! Yeah, that ain't what? him. He'd be taller than that, I think. Yeah, that's a short But he kind of looks like him. Wait, no, there's not the capybara. No, okay. that ain't him. It's yeah. like a pig horse that's in the Amazon. I don't know what that is. Uh, they, that's, uh, I'm telling you. That's a big old nutri. That's a, no, it ain't no big nutri. That's a hippo. I mean, I want to say it's a javelina, but like. No. 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 You don't, don't see like the that. band on it. No, that's a hippo. Ain't. Trust me. I think a tapir either made it all the way from the Amazon to Texas. No, I didn't. Or it's a basset hound. That's yeah. what I'm going with. See how short them legs with a basset hound, boys, yeah. because of the ears. It may be. That's a hippo. We'll never know. We just got sight. Hippo about. feeding at night. Come out of the river. Avelina makes more sense. Could it be a badger? No. They have badgers. You no. say he had a bar. No. I need a badger. Had a bar on his wrong, head. Wrong, wrong uh, form. No. I just like how there's no. people driving down the road listening to us argue badger, about a, a picture. Badger is short. <laughs> picture, I say. And, Boy, if we could uh, see that picture. Boy. All right, so if you're wondering, it's like a pig and a horse and a hippo. It's short-legged. It's a hippo. It has a bar under its That's eyes. That's a kangaroo. Kind of like a coon. <laughs> <laughs> I love uh, so I was looking at my computer. Badger. I only saw Havelina. half of it and knew that was a kangaroo. I'm going with Havelina. Some weird. I ain't no Havelina. I'm going with the bass you hound or a tape. No, I ain't no Havelina that big. That big little bitty thing. Good. Great. Hey, anyways. You're right. It's a hippo. It's a hippo. Obviously. Obviously. Oh, yeah. Hey. Martin, do we need to inform the people how we think we should do the snack bracket? No. Snack yeah. Bracket. Yeah. So, what we're going to do for the snack bracket, Johnny D's made the bracket. Whoa, easy. A snack bracket. They're going to blame me for it. No, that's TV. fine. Look, it's fine. Well, nobody ever agrees with brackets. That's, that's fine. Right. That's, that's the point. The you bracket. vote for the winner. When did So, we're going to put them on Instagram stories. Y'all are going to vote. We'll go all the way through it. All the way. And see who y'all crown as champions. Christmas tree cakes are a one seed. And if they don't make it, Yep. I've lost all my faith in the however many of y'all. The Twinkies. Uh, nobody wants that gar. No. Like, Christmas tree cake. But. The other number one seed, Slim Jims. Thank you. Because we figured if we wow. did it, it would take too long to sit here and discuss. So we're going to let y'all pick, and then we'll we'll make rousing judgments on you guys. Hey, Slim Jim versus Vienna Sausage, round one. I did it for the people. You did it for the people. Bro. Vienna Sausage. No. That's right. Slim Jim's go out. All day long. I'll vote. Slim barbecue, I'll vote. barbecue, please. Uh, Reese's <laughs> versus Baby Ruth. Baby Ruth's a 16 seed, surely, right? That thing's gross. Yeah, I don't care for it. And then Skittles versus Peeps. <laughs> Skittles <laughs> rule. And I couldn't think of a better candy other than Skittles. <laughs> and also, whenever you see uh, them small cookies, I wrote that because I couldn't remember the name of them. Small it's cookies. them famous Amos cookies. Oh. But that's just them small cookies. Them small cookies. Well, everybody know what that is. So anyway, y'all are going to get to vote, and then we'll discuss it. So there's the snack bracket, because we didn't want to junk up our room. And yeah. But for all y'all that sent stuff in, thank you. Yeah. And the people of the office, thank you. And our, the children of the people of the office, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> They've been coming by my office like, I said, hey, you you pick you one thing for Easter. <laughs> and they, out something and they go they go shopping in there for Easter, all the kids. So I'm I'm winning over favor with the youth of America. Hey, I'm also got, sending them on a the crash course to obesity. The lady from Indiana. Yeah. So I got two things of Mr. and Mrs. T. I got a bunch of Huckleberry stuff from my friend from Montana. He stopped by. Yeah, have you ever had a Huckleberry? I think so. Well, I got some stuff. He rode down the river with a guy named Huckleberry. That's it. That's it, boys. Oh, that was yeah. Tom. Yeah. 
or his cousin Tom. Yeah. That was Cy. All along. That was always Cy. Yeah. You yeah. had a foul mouth, Cy. Si. Because I hate painting fences. That's right. I help <laughs> you know, get all my friends to do it. That's right. That's right. Get your friends to do it. That's the way to work that out. We got an audible laugh from Hunter. That was good. It's so quiet in here. We can really we're here. Yeah, we're it's there. bizarre. I need noise. We need to turn on a radio or something. It's weird. I can do that. Man, it's, it's crazy up in here. But uh, yeah, so y'all are gonna vote on the bracket. Tell us who wins. I'm in. And like I said, we'll low key judge you on whatever your choices are. Pepperonis is a five seed. It's got a solid chance of making a deep run. Oh yeah, just straight pepperoni. Pepperoni. Oh, yeah, the little mini ones. No, you can't just have straight. them pepperonis. And you put no, that. You got those with gouda cheese in there and roll it up. And then brick it. All right. That's a pizza, Sai. Si. Or cream right. cheese. Either si one. said you can't eat straight pepperonis. You need some jalapenos and some cheese. And then like a crust yeah. and like a tomato sauce, and then put it in the oven. And for the people That's at home, a pretty good see. idea. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Then you <laughs> then you got something. thought of that. Yeah. Oh That's man. Boring. But if you want if you want to show the people Willie cooking a steak, I sent it to you. Oh, did you? Yeah. Show us that. Check your text message. Oh, good grief! This is a new way to cook a steak, people. Oh there my word! Go. There you go. Uh, just a little searing. I don't think hey, that's going to taste just, good. That's just to sear it a little bit on the outsides. Yeah. There you go. There's no way that would have tasted proper. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. would have. No. Oh, yeah. And there's the other. There's the. Yeah. There's training right there. Notice the fire right at Willie's feet. <laughs> uh, we're tripping, man. It's all tiny. Did y'all hear yeah, the tiny. roar? Of that well, he's thing? just warming up his sauce. Jordan sent it to me in slow mo. Oh, reason. good gracious! That's going to take forever. But look at his feet. That's oh. not a good move. <laughs> he's not well versed in the. Uh, Weapons or flamethrower flame category throwing. of weapons. Yeah, yeah. That was. Where did he go? That he pet a rhino and had a flamethrower. You saw? Did you see the kangaroo? And yeah, there's. Wow, where was he? I and killed three turkeys. Up up there. Look at, at him. Roaches ranch. No, that. No, this is in Texas. Oh, you don't get rhinos and turkeys and flamethrowers. Oh, hey, in I the great state might, of Texas. It might oh, be on his ranch, boys. God bless Texas. Look at him. Why do I wish that kangaroo would jump up? And That's right. Him? Just square just him up. Why? Yeah. That's, bust that's Joey. You know why? Because Willie would jump up and kick you if he were a kangaroo. That's, right. that's why. If he was a kangaroo, that's what <laughs> Willie would do. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> that's Joey. Is it? Yeah. You sure it's not Chandler? No, it's Joey. Oh. <laughs> it's Joey. <I'm> curious. <laughs> There's your 90s reference, boys. All right, let's take another break. We'll be back right after that. Oh, you should have seen that gun shop I went in. Did it have any my pillows? No. Oh, they should have. Well, well they, I think yeah. they did in the in the <laughs> VIP room. <laughs> Where? So huh? your your green room had my pillows in it. I like that. How about my towels and the gun stuff. Well, I didn't go in the shower. Oh, but did I bet you they'd have been there. Well, hey, there you go. In the you, shower. You missed it. Shower. shower. You missed it. Shower. You got to learn to speak goblin. That's right. He said shower. And that's why I was talking about the MyPillow towels, because we all know that the towels are his favorite. The finest, boys. But if you want to check out what's new for MyPillow, the all new MyPillow 2.0 is, is awesome. Here. Let me tell you, when you go to sleep on a 2.0, you don't remember it. That's it. Right. Because well, you sleep good. so hard and so sound I'll, I'll, because it's so comfortable. And you know what is the best part about it? It's made. Right here. In a good old USA, baby. I guarantee you. American made just like American, our duck yeah. calls. Ain't that something? Our duck calls won't keep you any cooler at night, but the MyPillow 2.0 will. It plays a big role in how well you sleep. The new MyPillow 2.0 has brand new temperature regulating technology that helps keep you comfortable throughout the night. It's an all new fabric technology that helps you regulate your body temperature. And since it's a fabric, not a finish, it stays for the life of the pillow, hmm. which is forever. I mean, let's just call it what it is. Wash it, dry it. It doesn't matter. It's going to stay there. The MyPillow 2.0 has a knife edge seam. No gusset and is available in four loft levels. So if you like to sleep flat as a pancake or if you want to feel like you're on the side of a hill in Scotland like Godwin, it doesn't matter. You can do it however you want to. There's a 10-year warranty and a 60-day money-back guarantee, but you won't need it because we know you're going to love them. Look, you tried the sheets, you loved them. You tried the towels, you loved them. The slippers. Love them. Still, Brittany's still wearing them. Try the MyPillow 2.0. You're not, you, we've, we've got you this far. Trust me. 
We'll get you the rest of the way. All you have to do is go to MyPillow.com slash duck to get the all new MyPillow 2.0, the slippers and all the MyPillow products. Right now, get the all new MyPillow 2.0 and you get the second one absolutely free when you use promo code duck. Again, just go to MyPillow.com slash duck and use promo code duck for a buy one, get one on the MyPillow 2.0 and a huge closeout on slippers. Or you can call 800-969-3137 and use promo code duck. Order now. Hey, because when, when they're, they're gone, gone, they're gone, baby. This is Cheryl from Never Illinois. Heard way Thank you very Never much. Never heard from him again. Did you say she was from Indiana? Yeah. Uh, originally, yeah. Yeah. But I she's in Illinois. You correctly. You forgive this me. This is good stuff, boys. Mr. and Mrs. T. You oh. going to drink that when you get home? Oh, oh what are you talking about? Going to drink it on the box? way hey. home. What Put it in the ice box. Hey, that actually saved my life. Yeah. I drank that sort of thing I could drink. Spicy mater juice. The spicy to me. the only thing. Old spicy. Oh, man. So we did the bracket. What else are we missing? We're trying to get caught up on this. Now that we're up. back in our office. I don't even know what y'all talking about. That's because you've been stuck out I've behind been, the... I've we've been gone. food groups in the brackets, and he made the bracket. I don't even know what the bracket is. What? So in the spirit it's of snacks. March Madness, now that it's getting closer to May... Yeah. Um, we made a bracket, guy, one of We're all so the popular well, snacks. Snacks. Why would you make a bracket? Just to, to see is, which okay. snacks the best. We yeah. wanted to know uh, what everybody would think, what seeds they would be. Yeah. You know, like college basketball has March Madness. No, I didn't know. You, that. Are you even somewhat aware of that? I hear Topher's taking I've, time. Yeah, I've, I've heard. Tomac, my I've bad. I've heard that term. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what we did in the spirit of that. And like we, so we did like snack cake on one side, candy, mm -hmm. salty, and what was the other one? Chocolate. chocolate. There's a chocolate. There's yeah. candy. There's like triscuits and things of that. Delectable. White chocolate salty. covered pretzel, like leggy. salty snacks. And then salty. there's little Debbie, basically. Yeah, all the snack cakes. And little zebra Debbie cakes are two seed, and Christmas tree cakes are one seed. Christmas tree cakes all day. Well, you could uh, you could seed. just go to name and all them cakes. Almond Joy <laughs> just fill up the whole bracket with them. Almond Joy, and yeah, you wouldn't I have a loser that. ever. Watch this. That's got that's got chocolate. Watch this. Uh, coconut. What and almonds? Almond Joy a ten seed. Oh, I ain't no ten seed. That's a one seed. Well, they get to play a seven. So who are they playing? Kit Kat. They lose. Oh, sweet grief! Hey, they ain't even. I ain't anything. much on almonds or coconut. That's right. yeah. They got almond. Well, they got chocolate, almond, and coconut. Yeah. Well, all you have to do, one, si, is get on Instagram and vote. Hey, one seat. Okay. And one seat. seat. Yeah. Si doesn't even get a say in his own show's ah. bracket. Same thing is uh, with the uh, Hershey bar with almonds. Hershey's nah. is a 12 seat. It's, no, that's a number one too. No. Nah. Oh, yeah. No. Nah. The people will decide. Don't even get me in it with Butterfinger. Butterfinger's a six seat. Uh, Butterfinger, boy, I used we'd no, go to go. I can remember Daddy taking us to the deer. Butterfinger's camp, four seat. And it'd be them little old bite sized. Oh, what are you talking about? Hey. I'd eat them. They just. I don't like Butterfinger. Oh, well, that's not my problem. If you make a homemade Butterfinger ice cream, now that. That yeah. would be good. That's. that's uh, wait a minute. Just, How can oh, you yeah. like what you're saying if you don't like a Butterfinger? I just don't Look, like a Butterfinger. I, I, I don't, don't like Butterfinger outside. I. It's not that I dislike it. I don't like what it does to my teeth and my mouth. I don't want to eat a Butterfinger. Oh, yeah, you just got like that. Oh, no, that's the good part of it. Yeah. Now, just a straight no, Butterfinger. Hey, when you got to take but a you, toothpick and get, get, get the, oh, but yeah. But you put him, crumble him up, and you put him in ice cream like Dairy Queen made a living oh, doing mm -hmm. on a let's blizzard. Go, let's go get one. Oh. I'll go right now. <laughs> you want but, to talk about good. But have you ever We're had, like, Dairy Queen? I had to go up there and get a concrete because I can't have the real thing. <laughs> Has a lady like from your church ever made like the homemade ice cream with the, uh -huh. with the but Butterfinger homemade ice cream? Or Butterfinger pies. Those are fantastic. Butterfinger homemade. My mom does Milky Way ice cream. That's good. So You know why? Because it's ice work. cream. That'll work. <laughs> homemade ice cream. Ice cream. Well, hey, have you ever right had. I remember good. about homemade ice cream. Here we My go. My mother and father were Pistachio. both bad scientists when it comes to stuff like that. Mad they come scientist. up with a butterscotch. What That's time? what it was, butterscotch. Okay. And it made right. everybody sick. Look, I took one little teaspoon spike and said, you know, spit it out. Wasn't no good. They all laid a bowl of it and were sick for three weeks. 
What did I say? Hey, wrong. That was a bomb. Butterscotch. Yeah, butterscotch, butterscotch is. Hey, they dropped a bomb on themselves. Oh. Oh, gut bomb. It was. It was horrible. Clean, clean out. That's Colon right. cleanser. Uh, that's it, boys. Hey, now I'm getting all sorts of videos with Willie with that flamethrower. Apparently, there were a bunch of people videoing it. So. <laughs> that uh, makes sense. For all y'all in the comments, say, get off your phone. I'm just giving you content, folks. We're just I'm just giving it to you. A new way. Oh, you sent them to me? I didn't send that one because that one's very professionally done. So uh, it looks better like Bigfoot on a on an iPhone. But no, this, this one you can actually really see what's happening here. Really is, see. Which is kind of wild. I sent it. But he drove a tank? Mm-hmm. That's cool. Well, of course he did. He's Willie. Well, <laughs> I, mean, like, I watched that dude from Dude Perfect drive a tank once. He missed the truck, though, when he got to shoot it. He missed? Uh-huh. Them oh. boys don't miss much. I know. I know. That's what was crazy about it. Oh, that is a flamethrower. <laughs> so I loud. can hear it, but I don't see it. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Hey, okay. If you could shoot one weapon... That you know, like a flamethrower that you don't just have readily available, or a tank. What would it be, Martin? Me? Yeah. A bazooka. Like a RPG. Yeah, RPG. Yeah, hundred percent. You would do that over driving a tank? Because that kind of is an RPG, but on a tank. Depend on. I mean, how much gas do I have in the tank? Target. What's like? What's the target? Like, are we? Appreciate. Are we like a short driver? I get it for a day, or I get to keep it. Yeah. Uh, you can do it. It's like drivetanks.com. What's our targets? <laughs> Empty vehicles is what I saw. Let me look. Uh, Think yeah. about this, though. 52 tons. Nah, but ever since I've seen, like, those old RPGs on the old movies and, like, the Steven Seagal movies and crap, like, I've always wanted to shoot one. Steven Seagal pull your arm off and beat you with it. That's right. Hey, for real. Unless your name's Chuck Norris. Drivetanks.com. Yeah. I was right. It's a real thing. Oh, no, no. That's Gift cards bad. are available. They, this is not an ad, people. This is just the coolest thing hey, I've ever seen. Hey, time out. I've been shoot real time. How much is it? And where are Is that what? I think that's, that's was Willie think, in Uvalde? Yeah, he was. Willie went to drivetakes.com. Yeah, he was in Uvalde. Yeah. Huh. There's yeah. gift cards available. Oh. If you have to ask, it says if you have to ask, you can't afford it. No, I'm it just wondering how much we have to pull because I think that's the one birthday present we could get Cy. That would just be awesome. Okay, Cy, what kind of tank do you want to drive? M1 Abrams. I, I, no, I could, I, I've i had a chance to do that at Camp Shelby. Okay, so he's out on that. Which one do you want to drive? It was, hey, I've driven the M60. Okay, because I, I actually worked on them at Fort Knox. I welded on them, and then we shipped them out, and we raced them. And he took it. Oh, yeah, that's when you got in trouble for Maybe, drag yeah, racing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> We wasn't thinking. The general, the I ain't general heard no was Fort looking Knox at him. story. He flies over the over the post all the time, and he's looking at burnt rubber tracks. This is cheaper where than we work because we would get race them after we get them fixed. We'd race them, yeah, and spin them, spin them <laughs> tracks, spin them tracks. Okay, so yeah, okay. Well, I mean, I literally got my go. butt. Cy, si, if we got you a gift certificate to drivetanks.com, would you, for your birthday, would you no, like that? No, because it's, it's my, with my COPD, it's yeah. too confined. M1 Abrams is, hey, these are for little people. Ask them if they have a convertible. Hey. The uh, M41 well, you don't want Walker a Bulldog was you don't made want by a Cadillac. Well, Cadillac. Dang. Well, hey. But well, they've got all kinds. You don't have no. to drive that one. Well, hey, think about this. Okay? Yeah, but you got to do one that you can shoot. Fully loaded, combat ready. Okay, 52 tons. And it will run about, oh, I think 80. Good grief. So kind of like a hippo. Oh, yeah. And look, and they can hit everything running 80. Okay. That's impressive. Just this unreal. Tank. Okay. <gasps> unreal. Oh, no. He's found something. The British FV-101 Scorpion light tank. Couldn't imagine life without being there. One driver, three passengers. Yeah. Yeah. One, well, you, two, got the, you got three, the tank four. commander. You. Okay. Then you got the man that runs the gun. Me. Me. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what the other two. You know, one of them probably a mechanic. One of them's Martin, a moral. Sort. No, I'm just no. God one's a mechanic, yeah. not me. Um, one of some boy, it'd be the tanker, gunner. I'm just, I'm just the guy with the map. The driver, uh, driver, and then the mechanic. 
I'm just the guy with the cell phone documenting all of it. So <laughs> it really isn't that expensive. For two thousand dollars, we can shoot a tank. We can shoot a tank. Yeah, shoot a tank. You don't get to shoot a tank, but you get to shoot from a tank into something else. Two grand. Give Cy the ride of his life at seventy-five. M four A two E. Can we jump? Eight Sherman. Oh, well, hey, they don't jump. They fly. That's from the World War Two collection. They plow. They run over stuff. Yeah, yeah. They don't jump it. Okay. No, they don't jump nothing. They plow. Yeah. They just they just run over it. Yeah. Reserve. Like, oh man! Come around, come around the corner in like a, a, a three-ton vehicle, machine gun. I wonder if you can get going fast? real fast and ski across the lake. Nope, not at fifty-two tons. Oh heck! Yeah. If you no, this go. is going to cost more than I thought. There's special <laughs> other stuff you get to do. Oh, oh. no! It's, it's a la carte, so you. Yeah. Oh so. man. There's a it, machine. It would be very interesting for someone the, that don't that has never done anything like that before. The Cold War package, you get to drive a Cold War MBT. You get to shoot a PKM for 40 rounds. Just light machine. And then you get to well, fire the light. British Scorpion's light tank. 76 millimeter main gun. How much? Guys, there's a Vietnam package. That's the Vietnam package? No, the Vietnam package is Walker Bulldog, drive and shoot the main gun. Do you have to arrive via helicopter? You shoot the 105 howitzer. Howitzer. You get the flamethrower. Yep. Shoot an M2. Yep. Shoot an M60. Yep. And an XM177. That's probably not how they say it. <laughs> Man, that's. I a, don't know what, what a couple of them are. Them howitzers. That that's what like they, they done. Time. I was on the ground, got them two wheels. Is that what that is? Well, they got the one, yeah, they pull behind it. Yeah. Yeah. And it's got like a, a dozer blade where you put it in the ground. Explosive. It'll, just, you know, it'll rock after it, you know, it actually jump in the air. Your eyes are fire. big. There's a thing called the explosive experiences. It says take one million claymores, place them in a field. One oh, million? No. And wait for the oh. geese. Just no, you just <laughs> Unbelievable. Well, let's take our last break and we'll talk about some emails and maybe we can get paid during this thing. We'll be back. Ah, you ready in the email bag? Ah, uh, you still looking at a machine gun. Ready, ready as I'll ever be. Hey, remember when we asked people to send in bad taxidermy? Yes, I do. Do we have some? Look Please. at this one. Here's one. Look at that one. Oh. oh. One. And that's me underneath it, but this man has a duck. Oh, I thought that was the actual duck that was above your head in the fake duck call room because it looks very similar to being that poor. No, this... Uh. Man, what happened? That, that one looked like a dog has got a hold of it. I just put him up to dry. Yeah, I painted his bill. What's behind him? What's Looks like on he's the wall. On a fence post. No, what's on this wall? Some squirrel? That's a muskrat. Excuse me. Very rough. I don't know. Oh, that one is a flying squirrel. But he recognizes that's bad taxidermy, right? That one on the right is a flying like, squirrel. We're not breaking that news to him, are we? I don't know. Mick just sent in a photo of taxidermy. Uh -oh. Bad taxidermy. Mick, you may want to work on your moves like Jagger. So that's it just terrible. it literally just says mix. Mick. Um, any hoosers. Do we have any know, more? Oh bad taxidermy. Absolutely. I got I got more bad taxidermy than I can show you. Oh yeah, let's keep yeah, on. Let's, let's stay on that. Well, we've given enough life okay. advice. Let's look at bad taxidermy and make fun of stuff. Hold on. I had well, my bad. Oh boy. Are there any humans? Don't don't No, that would just be weird. Sorry. What? Just a finger. Can you taxidermy me? <laughs> yeah, you could be stuffed. And just a, yeah. Allison can put you by the fireplace not, if you go before her. You got me all thrown off here because I had a plan and you just yeah, threw it all off. It, you blew nah, it, it's gone. It's gone. Plan's out the window. It's done. You're welcome. We stay nimble in here. We don't stick to a script. I don't feel very nimble. Today. We're very unashamed about not using a script. It's, oh. this, it's this weird room. It is. It's I all thought I had a bunch of bad taxidermy. Who deleted it? Oh, here's one. Uh -oh. Where are we at? One. Let's look. Well, come on. Come on. Give did, it to me. Did I show you the, the duck shoulder mount? I ain't mount? say nothing. No. Boom. Duck shoulder mount. That's interesting. That is interesting. Those are actually pretty well done, though. I was fixing yeah. to say, that ain't bad taxidermy there. Head poses are right. Hey, that's pretty good. Head shapes Ganders. are right. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. There's your merganders. Looking for a taxi. Okay. Who sent this? Ryan. This is old Ryan from Utah. 
There's a, that's say? a different I, take. I can't see what it is because he keeps moving it. Mountain duck like deer heads. Yeah. That's Mountain interesting. Duck like, like deer heads. I like it. Yeah, that's, that's not bad. No, there's, no that's whoever's got it here. has got the pose of the heads right and like the, the feathers are all lined up yeah. good and they're in yeah. straight. Yeah. So we're for this one. Oh, no, that's good taxidermy there. Got a canvas back I don't know that I'm for I mean, I don't want it, but it's not It's not poorly done. I didn't what do that? that. What just fell and who's – did the but guy digging I'm, the hole outside just blow up? My chest uh -huh. just vibrated. Wow. Or is Willie Robertson here? Yeah, he might be. Uh-oh. That you know scared that? me to death. Is that bubble That's a pretty head? good guess. Isn't Where? It? Willie slammed the I didn't see a buffalo head. I saw a couple of golden eyes and a hooded golden head. Yeah, that's what that was. Yeah. Yeah, but hey, there was a there was a uh, canvas back. Yeah, I right saw him in the top. Yeah. top. Yeah, on the yeah. right. I showed you this one, though, that's, didn't I? That's no, favorite. praise God, what happened to that? <laughs> Fluffy. <laughs> Fluffy. That's from old Pacey. Hey. Pacey, wow. that one died of electrocution, apparently. Why does it have, like, eyes from a troll on there? Like, those are like the glue-on eyes that, like, rattle. Like, I don't know, man. And what is that a snake behind it? Yeah, he's facing to get him. Or maybe he's just scared. That's like, why what? he got that look at snakes back there. A snake back there. Is that supposed to be a fox? Ah! That's the only noise I can think of when I see that. A fox. Is that like a what does the fox say? <laughs> he says, do a better job on me. I mean, that's terrible. Look at that. That's got the little googly eyes that you made like yeah. pipe cleaner animals out of in yeah. elementary school. Yeah. yeah, those are googly eyes for sure. Yeah, you shake them. That taxidermist it, it rattle. went to Hobby Lobby, where hobby. it's my favorite lobby for most of my hobbies. Yeah. But that is where they went to Whatever get those Whatever you're eyes. looking for is in the hobby six. That's it, boys. Hobby Lobby. I told you It that is story. weird because part of that story is just lobby stuff. It's lobby. Like, where would you find that in a lobby? Ooh. Snake. Well, I, know, I know if you go to look for boat numbers, they're in the hobby section. Aisle three at the end. On in the the hobby, lobby. In the hobby no, lobby. No. Well, hey, next time you need boat numbers, just call Brittany. She got one of them vinyl things. She can print them out for you. Yeah. I sell boat numbers. That's what I did. Hey, you know what that, you know what that thing did for a living? It was wow. a comedian. What do you mean? <laughs> look at it again. That bad taxidermy? Yeah. Oh, it was weird. Oh, it was, it was a comedian. comedian. He was, that's what he'd done for a living. It was a comedian. The fox or the he taxidermist? Always, yeah, the fox. He always uh, got a laugh. Because uh, the taxidermist should be one if he calls himself a taxidermist. That's terrible. <laughs> he calls himself a taxidermy. You got any more? I know. That was it. Oh. I got one more short one, I think. Oh. Just an just advice one. Okay. Right. Well, just, you threw me all off. I had. I like looking at weird pictures with. of animals. Uh, yeah, it. I mean, what are you going to do? You going to do that one? Yeah. You do that? Look, we're, we're going to help out Austin. Okay, let's say we're going to help out Austin from Huntsville, Alabama. Huntsville, baby, I've been there. Yep, he Old said. Tides. I worked the there. golf course there, boys. Uh, he's 26, but he's in the market for a truck. All right. Okay. He has a 2007 Sierra, 250 thousand miles on it. It's seen better days. To that, sir, I commend you. Uh, he's just trying to figure it out. What kind of truck he should get? I got a two. Is there a brand that you need? I got a 2012 with 210,000 on it. And well, for that, sir, I commend you. That depends on what you're going for. If you want a good ride, or I should say, if you want the best ride. This is a man with a face on the side of Go me. with the Ford. He's a Ford man. Hmm. Galva? Is he just wanting I, truck I advice? Know. He wants truck yeah. advice. He wants truck but advice. I, I'll say this. You've done the right thing by just running that one into the ground. That's it. I'm a very big drive believer. It, drive it yeah. till it quits. There you go. Till it clicks. That's right. Godwin's a man that owns a Tundra now. That's yeah. It. How I do you like a tundra. it? I, I like it. He said he liked it. It's a good, good fuel truck. mileage. It's fire. I'll fix that. You get about 17. I'll just fix that. I get terrible gas. Mileage is going to be going down today. On trucks. Here's but let me tell you, when you need some power and you got call it. on it, it's got it. It's there. That's it. God wants a tundra, man. God one likes to go fast. I do. I'm a man who believes in I will drive a very certain only one truck, and it is whatever truck I got the best deal on. That's good. That's advice. Good, that's I don't good care good. what that's the brand is. 
Yeah, I'm not a brand. I'm not a brand Just guy either. Give me the one that I got for yeah, the cheapest, the, best with deal. the least miles that'll last me the longest. I met the guy at Cooper GMC long ago here, and now it's Jim Taylor. So, but he still works there, and I really enjoyed him and his process of selling me a vehicle, also known as I could text him what I wanted, and he'd say, "Got it." Come sign the papers. That's so I just get whatever he's got. Yep. Like there you go. Not that, and that's not me loving a GMC. I just like Cliff. Like he's I like nice I like my man. So you know whatever whatever you can afford. That's exactly right. Yeah. Whatever you can I afford thought, is what you should get. I think he thought we'd all. And then if you looked at my truck, you'd be like, "Oh, that's a truck guy." Nope, hey. got a real good deal, and that's why I'm just going to drive yeah. that ugly thing till it quits. Ain't none of us got a Chevy tattoo in the small of our back. If you were looking for confirmation like that way, so. yeah, uh, and uh, or Ford or like, no, whatever. whatever works the gets you from A to B. Yeah, whatever you can afford. Martin always a, says a truck I had a is GMC a tool. It is a tool. Good. Mine's two inches narrower than it was when I bought it. Them trees out at Camp Shioka ain't got they a get lot of tight. give. They get Kurt tight. Lively. Yeah, well, trees ain't got no give, and sometimes you got to make a choice between denting the back of your truck or denting the front of it. I went with the back. <laughs> so I got I got locked out of a place and had to back up down a muddy turn road and a pouring down rain. Trailer got to sliding. I only had one option. The grill on my truck. Let it keep going. The grill on my truck is slightly uh, tilted yeah. by a lot. Uh, it's just because you got to do stuff with it. Yeah. Man, gotta Don't do get it attached to your boys. truck. No. That's going to upset some people that we said that. And a four-point ate my headlight one morning. So Drilled in. You ready bad. for the Bible verse? Yeah, get us out of here. All right. Well, I got a Bible verse from a certain listener. He emails in all Who? the time, Facebook comments. His name Who? is Brian. Brian. Brian from Ohio. Brian, man, thanks for listening. All man. your comments are great. I love you, buddy. Ephesians 4.29. Do not let any unwholesome talk come out of your mouth, but only what is helpful for building others up according to their needs. That is, that it may benefit those who listen. Love you, Brian. I can't help but feel like that one was double-edged. Right. Maybe. <laughs> I won't laugh because you don't like it when I do that. All right. See you guys next time right here in the duck call room. Especially you, Brian.